It's been a few days since Sizzle gone 2954 and CIG is already on their way pushing forward with Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. In this video, we're going to go over the latest information on Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. There's some stuff you might want to hear about. Before we get into this video, let's let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. I'd like to give a big shout out to North Shore Roller and Happy1775 for being the latest channel members. Thank you guys for your continued support. Much appreciated. All right, guys. So um, it's been a couple of days. Um, early this week, um, probably like the, the, the following day after CitizenCon, the second day was done, uh, we received a uh, message through the uh, testing chat from Waka that uh, they intend to drop another 4.0 patch um, probably by Friday. They're hoping to. And hopefully it does come through. This way they can continue on with the testing. It seems like... Uh, they uh, intend to drop this patch, um, at least live by the end of the year. I think that's their internal goal, and it's good to hear. So, um, looking forward to that. So, recently, we did get a new uh, X or Twitter post from CIG pertaining to Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 that I think you need to check out. So, let's take a look at this, okay? All right. So, now, um, on Star Citizen's um, Twitter page, there's this video. New Worlds arrived with 4.0. Um, literally, when was this posted? October 23rd, as of recording, which is today. All right, so um, it seems like their internal goal is to drop this thing before the end of this year. But here's a caveat. Just be prepared that uh, the very next patch won't be Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 going live. Um, I believe it's going to be Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. I believe it's going to be Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.3. Hear me out. Um, in the scenario when where 4.0 isn't actually ready for IAE, CIG still has some promises that they need to fulfill. Okay, so um, one of those, well, many of those is actually the ships that they need to avail, right? They said they're going to avail the Star Lancer. They said they're going to avail the Guardian, the Mirai Guardian as well as the RSI Polaris, which is the biggest one that the community is really waiting for. So in case 4.0 isn't ready by that time, they will most likely be dropping a 3.24.3 patch just to get those ships out the door and fulfill their promise of delivering it for 2024. So now, um, even if after IAE, I think CIG will probably have about a month or three weeks or so to get 4.0 outdoor hopefully um by that point we are getting like daily 4.0 patches um into at least wave one or two or something like that and uh constantly um iterating similar to what they did with uh 3.24.2 we were literally testing it every day they were literally giving us a new patch every day for 3.24.2 so i'm hoping that that's what we'll get all right so now um, talking about Star Citizen Alpha 4.0, let's see what we can expect once they drop this, okay? So, um, let's just get straight into it. Um, the very first thing is additional character customization. So, the, we're probably going to be seeing um, new heads, um, faces, options for character customization. So, let me see if you guys can see this. Yeah, but it's a little small. Let me, let me make it a little bit bigger. All right. Oh, gosh. So small. So big. All right, so um, next will be a few, lo couple, 17 locations, actually. Um, mind you, these are all tentative anyway. So um, space station contested zones. We can expect asteroid bases. We can expect pyro one, um, all the pyro moons and planets. We can expect in this build. I believe it was even um, in the build that went into EVO that CIG allowed to be um, streamed or recorded. Uh, jump points is expected. Uh, outpost canolianism is expected. Pyro space stations, of course. Um, more moons and planets. All right, let's see here. And then we get into AI. 
All right, so we can expect um, the Kazar Grazers to be in. All right, on the gameplay, we can expect uh, location repair. So these are mission types that will get to repair um, certain things within location. So if you go to, let's say, a um, an outpost somewhere and there's uh, something that's defective on site, they may, you may receive a mission to go and repair whatever that is. So it's going to be really interesting uh, to finally see engineering gameplay in that aspect. Um, hazard, fire hazards, we can expect the engineering gameplay in, in, in our ships and things like that. Life support, which is associated with engineering gameplay. Uh, solo burst, so this is, for those that don't know, the star in Pyro is dying, so every now and then it it, it does solo burst, well, which um, can disable your ship if you're not paying attention. And if you're outside and exposed, you may actually... Um, uh, have some sort of damage i believe it's radiation damage that you may receive so it's, it's quite dangerous if you're especially if you're in atmosphere and um it, if it's powerful enough if it hits you hard enough it can shut down your ship if you're in mid atmosphere and then i guess you're just gonna fall all right so just be careful of that okay um so that's for gameplay under weapons and items so uh, we're looking at uh what is this charge and drain um Charging drain, which is a functionality for the multi tool to um, provide power to systems or to drain um, power from systems, I think. Uh, multi tool updates. So, there are going to be um, new functionality added to the multi tool, including cutting, um, consumption of batteries, and things like that. So, we're going to have to maintain our multi tools with batteries. So, that's really nice. That's really nice. Fire extinguishers is going to be associated with the um, engineering gameplay and things of that nature. And then the core tech, of course, is going to be transit system refactor to work with server meshing, mission system refactor also to probably work with server meshing, and then server meshing V1, which is going to make all of this happen with the high player counts and multiple systems. So um, really exciting stuff. It's, it's uh, I just hope CIG can pull it off. I think we're ready to test it. And I think server meshing is ready to be tested in this uh, way. The fact that they dropped this into evo's hands um just a week prior to citizen con is a good sign and i think uh the fact that they intend to drop another one this week is a good sign so hopefully by the end of the year we can get a live build with star season alpha 4.0 which will set the president for the next year and uh which will be very excited with some of the new stuff that's coming all right before i let you go i'd like to let you all know that my organization phase one industry is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one